Hey guys, I just want to apologize for the incredibly poor quality of my last video, my Scott Pilgrim review. It's just I have not been feeling very well. My nose has been all stuffy, as you can hear. I had a really sore throat, and I've been coughing a lot, and it's pretty amazing I made it through that video. I really don't know what's going on. It's almost the end of August, and I'm probably coming down with a cold or something. I'm like Cardi Camilla or something. Hey, two you get that joke, but... Anyway, I thought I might show you guys all the goodies and everything that I got at the Vans Warp Tour that I went to. It was my first Warp Tour. I was very excited. I saw a lot of great bands. I saw, I think all the bands I saw, I saw the first one was the Reverend Peyton's Big Damn Band, which you've probably never heard of. It's like a country folk band singing songs like Mama's Fried Potatoes and Everything's Raising. There was some kind of wacky stuff. And I also, when I bought the ticket, I got two free CDs. I got Love Like This by the Somerset, who, they're really cool, you gotta check these guys out. I bought their song Punch Drunk Love off of iTunes, and I got the rest of the CD here, which was pretty cool. I'll talk more on them later. And I saw The Pretty Reckless, and I got bought their EP. For those of you who don't know, their lead singer is Taylor Momsen, who you probably know from Gossip Girl or How the Grinch Stole Christmas. And they were going to sign autographs. But unfortunately, at the last minute, they got called to a radio interview and could not make it. So that kind of sucks. So I don't, I have the CD, I saw them in concert, but I don't have an autograph CD, which kind of sucks. And I'll talk more about that somewhat later. Also, when I bought the ticket, I got another CD, uh, The World Outside by Eyes Set to Kill. And uh, from what I heard, Eyes Set to Kill is like a death metal band. And I, I, don't, I don't listen to death metal bands, so I don't know what I was doing going to the Warped Tour. Didn't understand until I was there, it was mostly death metal. But I'll probably be auctioning off the I Said to Kill thing. I don't have eBay or anything, so maybe if you want it, just send me your address and I'll consider mailing it to you. And another band I saw that I really, really liked was We Are The In Crowd. I saw them. I've never heard of them before the Warped Tour, and I liked them so much I bought their EP, Guaranteed to Disagree, which is pretty cool. It, op it opens up like this. There they are. And that cool stuff. These guys, you have to check them out. They are amazing. They're a um, spectacular band. How I would describe them, they're sort of like cute is what we aim for meets Paramore. Is They're pretty cool. They've got, especially with the fact they have more than one lead singer, which is pretty awesome. The rest of the goodies I got here in this Rocket Summer bag. I missed his performance because apparently the person who was supposed to take me didn't get off work till 2, so I missed his performance. But I did see him in person at his booth texting, and I got to meet him and talk to him and shake his hand, which was pretty cool. And the stuff I got in this bag, I got the Warp Tour Space Program. Yes, it is called the Space Program. And it came with a 30 free songs on iTunes card, but there's a catch. It's only a specific band of songs from bands that were playing at the Warp Tour. And it wasn't even 30 songs, it was 28, so it was kind of a cheat. And... A lot of the songs were pretty good, but most of them, as I said, were kind of death metal bands, and I don't like death metal. And this is the sched Warp Tour schedule. I got, I took some notes on I circled all the bands I wanted to see. <laughs> Put checks by the bands I wanted to check out. And when the summer set was signing autographs, I could not find the CD. I left it with the person who took me to the Warp Tour, my aunt. And I could not find her. The band was playing so loud, I couldn't hear her when I called her. So I just gave them the schedule, and they signed that. Which kind of sucks. I have their CD, and I don't have an autograph. But I do have their autograph in general, which is kind of cool. And probably the last thing I got was... They were giving this out for free. So I got five CDs, three of which were free. I said to kill the summer set. And this... I have no idea what's up with this cover, but it has some cool songs. It's got Three Seconds to Mars, AM Taxi, You Me at Six, Free Energy, Runner Runner, Chitty Bang, Sky Ferrari, Ferrera. there's an I in there that shouldn't be there, and a remixed version of California Girls, and some other cool stuff. I saw a lot of other cool, great bands there. I saw Mike Posner, you probably know this guy who sings cooler than me, in a Mayday Parade, and... There's one other band. I also got uh, glimpses of You Me at Six and Versa Emerge, Fake Problems. Saw some pretty cool stuff there. For my first Warp Tour, I thought it was a pretty amazing experience. And 
I'm sure so many of you do not care. That's all I have to say. Frenzy227 is out.